Hi, I'm John Orlando, and I want to show you an online auto-graded worksheet system called Wiser. Now, worksheets are oftentimes associated with K-12, through but I think higher education can benefit from them as well. In particular, they can be used to reinforce learning by giving students worksheets to do after a lesson, either face-to-face -face or online, and that will help reinforce the lesson. Plus, the instructor can see where there are common errors, the students are missing things, and then maybe go back over it in the next lesson. The nice thing is it's all auto-graded, so there isn't any extra work by the instructor. Also, I think that you could even build lessons within the worksheets by having them, say, watch a video, then answer questions, then, say, read something within the worksheet, answer questions, things like that. So you could really integrate um, content and interaction, so use the worksheet as its own lesson. So let's take a look at how this system works. Now, a faculty member can create a worksheet from scratch, or they can choose from one of the 10 million templates that are available. And there are so many because every time a teacher makes a worksheet, it becomes a template. Here's a starting list of templates. I'm just going to choose this one called Cell Theory. If I go through and I like it, then I'll just click Copy Worksheet. Note, you really don't have to choose a worksheet in the subject of the worksheet that you're going to create. And that's because you have your own content. What you're really doing is just looking for the format, a format that you like. I'm going to use this to make a hypothetical worksheet on ancient philosophy. You start from this template and you can replace anything. Let's start with the image. At this arrow here on the left, I can click that and you notice I have all these different formats I can use. So if I want, I can just switch to something like, oh, I don't know, summer, and click here. And you notice that becomes the format. But I'm going to go back to DIY. And use DIY if you want to basically create your own format by uploading your own image, which I'd like to do. So I'm going to click Upload Cover Image. I'll go to my own computer and I'll click School of Athens. Now we'll give it a title. Instead of cell theory, it'll be ancient philosophy. That yellow doesn't really work so well. I don't know if there's any color that's going to work really well here. But I am going to also change the font. So we'll leave it at that right now. I know it doesn't look the best. I can fiddle with it later. Now we'll start changing the elements. And they're very, very easy to change. Let's start with fill in the missing words. So I'm going to just click Edit. We'll leave the instructions the same, but we're going to replace the text. So I'm going to just delete that out, and I'm going to enter some text I have. And what's really cool here is all you have to do is indicate which words will become blanks that your students have to fill in. And those will actually become a drop-down menu. So I'll just highlight Greek, blanket, uh, let's see, we'll go with Athens, blanket, it'll go with Academy, blanket, and then we'll go with Western, blanket. Click Done. Now let's go to the matching section. So here we'll go Edit again, and we'll leave the instructions. And we'll start swapping these out. This will be Aristotle, and this will be was taught by Plato, and organisms will become allegory of the cave, a metaphor for our limited view of reality. Now this one, I'm not so sure I'm going to use. In fact, this is just an image, so I'm just going to delete that. So notice you can just put an image in, and you can even put videos in, you can put text, you can put audio in. In fact, you can even embed outside apps like Padlet. You can create a Padlet, embed it here, and then when each student posts to the Padlet, they'll post right in here, and they'll see their posting and everyone else's, which is really nice. I'm going to delete this too, and we'll just delete this out as well. And now here we have kind of an interesting interaction where the students are given a series of terms and they have to pick from a drop-down menu which category they belong in. So we'll edit that. So I'm going to go edit here, and the title is actually going to be 
Socrates, Plato, or Aristotle. And our instructions will be decide whether each of the following is from Foc Socrates, Plato, or Aristotle. Now our categories will be that name. So Socrates, Plato, and we'll add in our group called Aristotle. And now I'm just going to delete all, all these and enter my own items. So under Socrates, we'll put down the poison hemlock. Enter. We'll do another one. And finally a third. So these are three items that belong to Socrates in our list. Again, we'll do the same over here. Under Plato, we're going to have the forms, the guardians, knowledge as recollection, and under Aristotle, we're going to have considered the father of science, doctrine of the mean, and the syllogism. Note at the bottom, you see all the various things you can do for activities. We've already seen the blanks. You can also do fill on an image, which is interesting. You could say put an image of Africa up and have students fill in the names of countries or something like that. You can have a drawing activity where they have to draw something. And you can have a discussion, an embedded discussion, where just like an LMS, students post comments, but they do all within their own worksheet and see everyone else's comment. Finally, well, I might want to put down a question that asks the student's name because I want to know who filled out which worksheet. So we'll do an open question. I'll just say name. Done. And we'll want them to fill this out at the very beginning. So we're going to go here. We're going to change the questions order and put it up at number one. Now we want to hit save. And now let's preview it. So the student sees this, writes in their name. Then they go to fill in the missing words. Plato was a Greek philosopher born around 4825. In Athens, he founded the Academy, the first learning, higher learning institution in the Western world. Next is matching. So Aristotle matches to was taught by Plato. Again, this is kind of interesting how this extends out. I just like that for some reason. Allegory of the cave, a metaphor for our limited view of reality. The forms are ideals that are represented in the objects of experience, and the Republic presents the three-part model of the state. Decide whether each of the following is from Socrates, Plato, or Aristotle. So we click Doctrine of the Mean, and that is Aristotle. The Guardians are Plato. The Forms are also Plato. Knowledge as Recollection is Plato. I know that I know nothing. Socrates, Apology is Socrates, Poison Hemlock. The Syllogism is Aristotle. Consider the Father of Science is Aristotle. And then the student would submit at the end. Now the submissions all fall into a bucket here where the faculty member can see each student's score, their particular answers. They get analytics about the student's performances in general. So if the faculty member sees certain common errors, the faculty member might want to go back over that in the next lesson to correct the misunderstandings. Another nice thing is that the free account has remarkable amount of power, unlimited number of students, unlimited number of questions, and the premium account is very cheap. It's only $5 a month, and it has a few extra flourishes. So take a look at using this with your students to help them learn. Thanks.